So in this video, I am going to be giving you a little bit of a tour around Later, which is the tool that I use to plan and schedule all my Instagram posts for both of my accounts. I do have the paid version, so I thought it would just be good to give people a little bit of a tour around it, how it all works, a bit of a tutorial to see if this is something that you would like to end up paying for to manage your own social media accounts. I think I pay like nine pounds um, or nine dollars per month per account but i'll leave the link to it below if you do want to check it out they do have a free version as well which does have some of these features um, including the scheduling and planning features for one account uh, so you can also check it out and give it a go yourself first before paying but i thought i would share it because i've had a lot of questions about it recently and i absolutely love it So here we are on the main page. This is my calendar view. I can look at either my Instagram here or my other Instagram account. Um, this is in week view, which I don't actually ever like using on anything. So you can also view it in month view, which I much prefer. Um, and you can see upcoming posts. You can see posts that have already been posted and their captions and everything. Um, and you can also view it in preview view, which will show you how it actually looks all together on your grid so you can actually plan and click and drag things around to reorder them to see how they look and save any changes and it will automatically update the date for you that you have set in your month view here which is really cool you'll also see that there is a stories button which you can actually use to schedule your Instagram stories which is Again, another awesome feature. This is a paid feature, um, but let's say get started. You can click and drag them to rearrange them, set a time to post them. Um, it won't automatically publish them for you, but it will just um, give you a notification when it is time. It will save it to your camera roll with the caption and everything kind of copied to your clipboard. And then you can just go ahead and post it on Instagram stories at the correct time. So this is what the um, kind of preview will look like and the timeline and you can just click and drag on any media to um, put it in the correct time slot. You can edit it straight from within the later app here. Just do some basic like cropping and filters and things like that or you can just leave it and do that in the Instagram stories app itself. And you can add multiple um, clips just by dragging and dropping here and also add clipboard text as well to save to your clipboard when you're ready to post them and change the date and time up here as well. So that is a really cool feature. I personally haven't used that that much um, myself because I like to just do it all manually and plan it out myself. But definitely if you want to be organized way in advance with your Instagram stories, this is a really cool feature too. So how it works is what I will do is go into my media library, which is where I upload all my images for both accounts. And what you can actually do is, let's just go ahead and upload one now. When you do upload an image, you can also give it a label so that then you can filter through your media and keep things more organized. So I like to split out my labels into the different accounts that I'm using. So I'm gonna label this new image with the By Rosanna label because that's the account that I'm gonna be posting to. So then I can either filter in here just for um, items that I've labeled with by Rosanna in here or when it goes to my calendar view. As you can see here, I've got the label here and you can actually filter it straight from within the calendar view as well to just show the images that you actually want to have show up here. Then what you do is go to either the month view or the preview view or week if you like that and just click and drag it to where you want it to be and it will set up this um, little pop-up here where you can type out your caption. Um, the great thing is that you can type out the caption and add kind of paragraph spacing. You can add emojis um, and do whatever you like with it. And you will also see that down here it's saying that it will automatically publish this post for you. Now, this is unlike quite a few of the Instagram planning and scheduling apps that are out there. A lot of them will just send you a notification and that is an option with later. Um, I personally prefer to do this because I like to kind of be on my phone and engaging on Instagram um, while just before I'm going to post a post, but you can just have it 
automatically post to your grid without you have even having to be on your phone, which is an awesome feature. And when you do that, that also gives you the ability to automatically tag people. So you can just type the Instagram username straight from within here. And you can just save that and add her as a tag if you wanted to. You can also add a location if you are auto posting, which I would always recommend doing. Definitely check out my um, four tips for getting better reach on your Instagram posts if you want to learn more about, about why that's important and why tagging people is sometimes important. So these are all features that you can do when you auto post. Um, another thing you can do when you auto post is add a first comment, which is really cool. So some people prefer to put hashtags in the comment itself. Um, like so and some people prefer to do it in the first comment so that it doesn't kind of crowd their actual post um their actual post caption here so what you can actually do is schedule a first comment to go out immediately with your grid post so you literally don't have to do anything you schedule the post to go out it posts and then it automatically posts a first comment as well which can have all your hashtags in it um which is again a really cool feature for any auto posting I actually prefer to just do it all manually, but it's completely up to you. You'll see down here, you can set the date and time for whenever you like as well. Another cool thing that you can do in here is check out Later's hashtag suggestions. Now I have kind of mixed reviews about this. Um, I don't typically use it for myself, um, but if you basically type in a keyword or a hashtag that you would maybe want to use and click suggest, it will tell you how many posts are in um, all of these hashtags. It will give you some basically suggestions of similar hashtags to the one that you're using um, and tell you how many uh, posts are in it. So how popular it is and what kind of percentage relevance it is to the hashtag you originally put in. The only reason why I don't particularly like uh, using this and I would rather just do it from my phone is it does just show you a list of hashtags from most popular um, going down and I don't like using big popular hashtags on my Instagram post and that is a whole kind of uh, topic around hashtag strategy and stuff like that which I do go into more depth in my free Instagram course if you're interested in that there is a link in the description below but um, yeah with a hashtag strategy I would always suggest using less popular posts um, and definitely not using these kind of big ones so it kind of just shows you up to 30 of the most popular ones which I don't really want to be using so I don't really use the hashtag suggestions tool However, the feature that I do like to use, and I use it every single day, um, is the saved captions tool, which is such a time saver. Basically, when you are creating a list of all your 30 hashtags, um, you want to be making sure that those kind of sets of hashtags are different for each type of post that you're posting. And you can create um, basically collections of hashtags here in the saved captions area. So what you do is you click on saved captions, select the plus button, give it a title like um, inspirational quotes or something like that. And then you would just copy and paste in all of the 30 hashtags that you would plan to use within this kind of topic. And then they are just saved here. So for example, let's just pretend that I've uh, written a caption here. I then click on saved captions and I've got these kind of saved collections here that I can just click on and it will add all the hashtags and it will also tell me how many I've got left if I need um, to add any more um, and it will just add them all for me. You can also do that in the first comment if you've got it on auto publish as well. So those are all the awesome features that later comes with for actually uh, planning and scheduling your posts. Again, you can just go into this preview area and also just drag and drop uh, posts to go straight into the preview. So I can just click and drag it in here I can rearrange and see how it all looks together which is great um, and there are some other features as well that later has that I think are uh, really useful as well so the conversations section is where you can actually manage all of your comments all of your DMs all from one place it can take a while to load but there we go it got there eventually so you can manage all of your comments from in here which is amazing and just reply to it from your desktop um, rather than having to go in the phone you in your phone and kind of looking for all your notifications this keeps it in a really easy to manage place the analytics are really good on later as well obviously there are the insights on instagram if you've definitely got a business account set up you should have 
um, access to Instagram insights. But if you want some more in-depth uh, information, the later analytics do go really in-depth about growth rates. Um, it talks a little bit more um, in detail about kind of times that your followers are online and therefore the best times to post. Um, the demographics is what uh, Instagram insights will typically give you, but it's in a little bit more detail. Then if we go to post performance, you can also have a look at which posts and filter them really easily based on their engagement rate and based on their likes, comments, impressions. You can filter for whichever you want to see which has been performing the best and you can look over a set period of time too. Um, you can also do that with your story performance as well. Um, and these are kind of some of the analytics are available in Instagram, but this just lays it out in I, what I think is a really nice graphical way. Now, one of the things that I don't believe Instagram has in their analytics uh, section that I've seen is the hashtag analytics, which tell you which ones are actually giving you the best likes and the best comments, um, which is really, really cool. So if you want to be using hashtags, which give you more or comments you obviously filter for these so reminder to self has given me the most comments when I've used it on a post so far um, and you can filter for all of these things so this is really important for your hashtag strategy and just kind of going through and analyzing that potentially each month um, and working out which hashtags to keep using and use more of um, which hashtags maybe just aren't being too um, as effective for your business if you are a business that um, often uses curated content, so that is content created by influencers or people that are tagging your brand and things like that, you can um, use uh, Later's Collect Media feature, which basically allows you to search content by hashtag. Um, so let's put freelancer in here. This is gonna be really, really broad, but um, you can basically select any of these pieces of content and add it to your media library. And what later we'll do is add a link back and a credit for you. Um, obviously, um, I am of the opinion that if you are going to be sharing co other people's content to your Instagram pages, even if you do have a credit and a link back, you should always ask permission first. Um, but this does kind of give you the option to go and view it on Instagram so you could message um, the person first. But what this tool basically does is downloads the image for you and allows it, you to use it in your own kind of calendar planning. Same thing for mentions as well. I'll talk about the URL in just a second. So you can actually collect and save media from people and accounts who have mentioned your account um, in their posts. So maybe not tagged you in the actual photo, but maybe mentioned you in a comment or a caption. You can collect media from there and do the same thing. Um, also tags. So if people have tagged you and your account in the actual photo themselves, you can then kind of download the media just as you would have in the hashtag section here, it goes to your media library and then you can then schedule it and credit the original uh, creator. You can also add contributors to your later account to actually upload um, media for you. So maybe if you had a brand ambassadorship uh, deal with an influencer or something like that and you wanted to give them access to add media straight to your later account, you could do that. Um, with add from URL, this is a Chrome extension that you can add um, to your browser that then lets you kind of browse any website and just click on um, an image and add it straight to your media library. Again, be really wary about doing this. Even if you are crediting an account, best practice is to actually ask permission first. Legally, you are supposed to ask permission first. No one seems to do it on Instagram. They just think that if you are tagging the account and giving a proper credit, it's okay. But actually, you are supposed to ask permission first. So, um, and some accounts will actually say in their bio, please don't reshare my content. Um, and if you do do that, you, that could get you into trouble. So be really wary about this collected media section, but it could be quite good if you are a bigger brand using this. I now just want to talk you through quickly one of their really cool features called Link in Bio, which is free um, to anyone who actually even doesn't use Later. So if you just search Link in Bio Later into Google, it will come up with the landing page. You can click to get started and it will take you to this page here. Um, it'll probably ask you to connect your Instagram again, which I've already done. Um, but basically how it works is you have 
a link that you're given, a unique link, that then when you tap on it on someone's profile, it will show basically a copy of your grid and allow people to tap on the relevant photo and it will take them to a link that maybe you've discussed in that grid post, which I think looks really cool and could be really awesome for product businesses, fashion bloggers, news sites. If in your grid post, you're always talking about a certain link or call to action, but you don't want to have to create one of those Instagram landing pages with loads and loads of different buttons on, this is an awesome way to kind of get people to click on the things that you actually want to be linking to from your grid posts. So to do this, they first want you to kind of set up this little button in the corner to go to your website. I don't know if you actually have to do this, um, but I'm just gonna fill that in. So once you've done that, all you need to do is add your link in bio link to each of the posts that you want to appear in this kind of grid uh, faux grid if you like when people tap on the link in your bio just add this link to any post that you create in there and it will add that post to the link in bio landing page um, and then this is also the link that you would then want to put in your bio as well then once you have done that and i haven't got any posts on my account that actually have um the link in bio link in the caption but this is that's what you would do if you wanted them to show up here but those would obviously be in color and then you can select the post and then you just paste in where you actually want that um, post to link people to when they click on it but yeah i just think that's a really awesome tool that they've created for anyone to use so that's my kind of tour and a bit of a tutorial around the Later app that I use for my Instagram. If you want to learn more about how to actually use Instagram in general for your business, I have a completely free Instagram online course. All you have to do is sign up, you get the login, it's self-paced, you can access it whenever you want. And there are nine in-depth video lessons which will take you through creating your account, coming up with content, writing, engaging captions, using hashtags, understanding understanding the algorithm, improving your engagement and much, much more. Um, and yes, it's completely free. You just go to the link that I will leave in the description below, sign up here. And then once you've got your login via email, this is what it looks like. You can just click to the bit that you want to learn from, watch the video tutorials. And yeah, definitely check that out if you want to learn more about how to actually use Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of Instagram themed content.